What's up bros? I'm going to show you guys how to build the sickest Angular 2 phone number formatter on the internet. Let's get started. Slap open your code editor. I'm using WebStorm. I highly suggest you guys download WebStorm. Click on the terminal tab and run npm start. We're going to run this in the background as we develop our website because it's going to update automatically and we can see exactly where we're at and we can see if there's any issues or errors. And we're going to want to click on the Add Terminal button. And these things up here can actually be edited, so we're going to name this server. We're going to name this one Miscellaneous. And the first thing we're going to download is it's the Angular 2 Text Mask node package. So the way to do this would be npm install Angular 2 Text Mask dash dash save. <clears throat> It's going to do its thing. You're going to see it appear inside the package.json file when it's completely done. I already downloaded it prior to this tutorial, so you're going to see two more entries here, or maybe one. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the source folder and go to app and go to your app module.ts file, and we're going to import the text mask module. So we're going to start by importing it up here. And that's another cool feature to WebStorm is it just auto-completed it for me. Another reason why you guys should download it. Once again, auto-completed. So what we just did is we made text mask module globally available to the entire project. So I just saved it. Now another thing too is I have this all available on my website, coderbro.com, and the link to this tutorial is in the description. So go ahead and click on that because the next thing I'm about to show you guys is the two different phone number formats we have available. So we have an international phone number format available and then we have a regular phone number format available. And the two regular expressions can be found on the internet. And they're very cumbersome to type out. So here we are on the website. Right now it's just on localhost because I'm developing it right now. So we're going to be using this format right here, the one that I just highlighted. So go ahead and open up your app component.ts file and replace the default title. And let's add in the mask. And let's just copy and paste this. Save it. Go to, and we're going to see how your template URL is app component.html. Let's click on that. You have your default thing here. By the way, we're back on the other screen here. Let's reload this. You can see this is default. So let's go over back over here and modify it. This is going to be form input type text placeholder plus one. This part doesn't really matter. Here's the part that does matter. You're going to want to do text mask. This is your directive, and you're going to want to pass in your mask array that you just created in the app component.ts file right here. It's being passed in right there. So let's go ahead and save that and navigate back over here. And as you can see, the placeholder is what we typed. And as we start typing in our number, voila, it works. So if you go back to my Codebro website, there's a few other things that you can add to this to trick it out a little bit more. And that would be to add this pattern, which basically validates the input before the submit button's clicked. And um, another thing to remember also is that this does not prevent people from posting information to your backend that isn't formatted in this particular format. So you want to make sure you check for that. 
So hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe. There's going to be a lot more of this. And visit my website. Thank you.